everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video marks the end of an era. So today I'm doing my very last Snack Crate video. But if you're new here, my name is Amy and this is Snack Crate. So basically it's a monthly subscription box where they send you snacks from all over the world. And the fun part is you never know what you're gonna get till the box arrives. I started doing them last summer, kind of when we were in the middle of the pandemic and um, restrictions were kind of coming and going. We didn't know what way they were going. But restrictions should be lifting on the 12th of April. So we're allowed to go anywhere within our county, which I'm honestly really happy about because at least then I have something. I've been doing a bit of research on things I can do in my own county. Cavan is actually quite a big county and there is quite a lot in it. And I think a lot of it is hidden gems, which I'm really looking forward to exploring. Plus the sun is out, the weather is getting better and uh, there just seems to be light at the end of the tunnel, so absolutely delighted with that. So on the box, there's always a little bit of a giveaway on the front as well to kind of give you a hint of where it's from. So it always says hello in whatever language it is. And um, this one says hola, but it's not the Spanish hola, it's the other one. It's O-L-A. We call them fathers in Ireland for our own Irish language, and there's a little thing over the A. Not sure what it's called but I know for a fact that this is Portuguese. My brother always slags me saying that I cannot pronounce Portuguese. Portu Portuguese. 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 No. It's on my list of words I can't say and there are many. This is definitely a Portugal-like language and it either could be from Portugal or Brazil. I'm as much as not, I love Portugal, I'm kind of hoping it's for Brazil because I know nothing of what kind of snacks they eat over there. So um, let's open it up and find out. Okay, so let's open it up and see what's inside. This is my very last box, so hope it's a good one. Right, let's see what we got. This time we have, come on. <gasps> it is Brazil! Oh, it's so happy! This is definitely going to be a very good box. I'm so excited. I haven't exactly got a name box around South America yet. Or did I? Oh, how many boxes did I get? I have a whole playlist of these kind of videos. I'll leave a link in the corner up there if you want to watch them. Honestly, I've lost track of how many boxes I got. I'm really excited for this box. This, I know this is going to be a good one. Ben Vinda, welcome to Brazil. Okay. Before I start as well, you probably already got this from the intro, I'm really bad at pronunciations and languages and I'm really sorry if I mispronounce anything. In fact, Brazil has been the largest producer of coffee in the world for the past 50 years. The size of Brazil with the Amazon rainforest, that's no surprise whatsoever. Committing an environmental crime on Sundays and holidays is an ag... Why do boys have them kind of cars? It's so weird. Committing an environmental crime on Sundays and holidays is an aggravating factor. So if you commit an environmental crime, is the punishment more severe if you do it on Sundays and holidays? I don't know. It should be severe anyway. Uh, let's see what we got. So always, always, always they give you crisps as well to start with. So let's see what these are. These are Fandangos. I can't read most of that. I'm guessing it's some kind of cheese and corn kind of flavor. Crunchy corn bits that have a strong and yummy cheesy flavour. We are truly fans of these snacks. Okay, so it's cheesy corn snack. That sounds good. I love corn snack. Next we have is Pirake. Pirake? Pirake? You might be pronouncing that wrong. These crunchy crackers are flavoured with the tomato herb savoury goodness of pizza. I noticed there's a lot of pizza flavour stuff in the world. I've got many boxes with pizza flavour, crisps and crackers and all sorts, so... <gasps> we got chocolate! I am a huge fan of chocolate and I'm really happy, especially with a Brazilian box where they produce so much cocoa beans there as well. I'm so happy and I got four chocolate bars this time. Just keep adding more and more chocolate to the boxes. I'm kind of sad now that these are finished. We have a Kit Kat and it says lemon. Lemon. These are pictures of limes though. Is this lime flavour? The classic Kit Kat you love with a Brazilian twist. The crisp wafers now have a tangy lemon lime flavour edition that is simply delicious. Ooh, okay, I'll give that a go. A while ago I got a Japanese box where I had um, raspberry flavour Kit Kat and matcha flavour. So now I have lemon and lime. There's so many Kit Kat flavours around the world. We have Nestle Prestigo and it has a picture of coconut on it, so this looks really good. Sweet and chewy, coconut covered in a silky layer of chocolate, the perfect nutty rich flavour combo. 
Okay, so is it like nuts and coconut, I guess? Or is, well, coconut is the nut, so I don't know. Next we have Nestle Chokito. Chokito. A delicious candy bar filled with fudge, crisp rice and caramel. What more could you ask for? So it's like a lion bar or something. This sounds good though. And next we have is Supino. I see the word banana on it. I'm slightly scared. <laughs> this classic Brazilian treat features a real banana aged for maximum sweetness then dipped in delicious chocolate. Hmm. Okay, this will be interesting. In a video ages ago, I said that I like bananas on their own, but I don't like banana flavored, but this is like a aged banana dipped in chocolate. This would be interesting. They also give you a recipe card here as well. So this is how to make brigadeiros, brigadeiros. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I see a picture of them. They're like little chocolate balls with little sprinkles on top. These look good. It's not the next day at all. Nope. I didn't forget to fully charge up my camera and let it die midway through filming and then had to wait for it to recharge. But by the time it recharged, it was too dark to continue filming. So I had to leave it all to the next day. That didn't happen at all. Luckily for me though, I didn't taste a single thing just yet. Everything is completely unopened. So this would be a first reaction for everything. So go lucky there. What are we gonna try first? I think I'm gonna go for the pizza cracker things first. These look really good. Oh, nice and easy and oh, I look, they're so cute. They look like they've got a lot of flavoring and ooh, oh that smells really good. It smells tomato-y and like pizza base, so that smells nice. Let's have a taste. Hmm, it's soft. Yeah, they taste kind of herby, a bit tomato-y and they are quite doughy as well. So it's kind of like a very doughy based pizza base, but these are really good. Next, gonna try the other crisps, the Fandangos. So I think they said that this was a cheesy corn kind of base snack. Let's see. They remind me a lot of Skips. They're like these little cups. These are really cute. Oh, they're cheesy. Yeah, they're very cheesy. They, they're not, I'm not a big fan of cheese. If I like cheese, these would be absolutely amazing, but i give them, I don't know, five out of 10. All right, let's go for the chocolate. So I'm gonna leave the banana dip, banana dipped chocolate, good one, Amy. The chocolate dipped banana until last. I will admit, I'm kind of scared of this one, but uh, maybe I'm judging it too quickly, I don't know. Let's go for the coconut ones. I love coconut. Let's see, we break it off and, ooh, okay. So this is kind of like a bounty bar. I don't know if you can see the inside. But that's the inside there anyway, and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm probably one of the few people in the world that actually really like bounty bears. So give that a taste. Mm. It's exactly like a bounty bar. Mm. But that is delicious. I really like that. The only thing I don't like about the coconut flavor bars is that it gets all over your teeth. Just trying to get it out. <laughs> Next we're going to try the lemon and lime Kit Kat. I honestly don't know what to expect with this one. I hope it's not like sour kind of way. I just take out one line there and oh it smells fruity. That smells really good. Yeah I really don't know what to expect with this one but we'll give it a go. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm glad it's not sour or anything. It's just I don't even know how to describe it. It's just it's weird. It's definitely very like limey, but I mean, it's nice, but I don't know, it's just, it's weird. Next then I'm gonna try the Chokito. Oh, oh, make it a mess. So my mom was saying that it's kind of like a catch bar, if you have that in your country. It's kind of like chocolate fudge, Rice Krispies, and then chocolate on the outside. So see what it's like. I don't think I actually had a catch bar, but I'm thinking something like a toffee crisp or a lime bar. See, it break it apart and ooh, well, the chocolate is very thick on that. So that's what the inside looks like and it looks really good. I don't know what the inside is. Is that supposed to be nougat? Because it says that it's supposed to be caramel, but maybe it's hardened caramel. I don't know. Ow. That looks pretty nice. Enjoy the chocolate is really thick on it. The caramel, it does taste like caramel, but it's like hardened kind of caramel, but not like toffee. 
I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So this is the one I'm scared about. This is the dried banana dipped in chocolate. I have very strong opinions about bananas. I like bananas on their own, but in my opinion, banana flavored stuff should not exist. And I'm scared, but we're gonna do it. It's dark chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm not sure how I feel about this. The inside kind of just looks like the inside of a raisin. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it smells bad. I'm so sorry to the people of Brazil, but this is just weird. Fair warning, I have very sensitive gag reflexes, so here we go. <coughs> no. I don't even know how to describe that. It's just, it's horrible. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like banana. It tastes bad. Like it just tastes like rotten food. Oh uh, no, I'm not eating that again. I'll stick to the bounty bar, thank you very much. Oh, I need to get it out of my mouth. Oh, my tea's gone cold. This, this is a disaster. So that is it for these snack crate videos. Um, Kind of sad that the last chocolate bar was so bad. I really wished it surprised me, but yeah, that, no, definitely not. <laughs> Huge thank you to everyone who has been watching this series. They were so much fun to do. If you want to get your hands on your very own snack crate as well, I'll leave the link in the description to their website. I'm not paid or sponsored or anything like that by snack crate. I just got them because I wanted a taste of the world while we couldn't get out and explore it. So let me know down in the comments as well what snack you would like to try. Don't say the banana one, please don't say the banana one. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and also leave us a big thumbs up. Also, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm mostly active on Instagram and Twitter. So next video is gonna be hopefully my last video in this room before I can get out and vlog again. So restrictions are lifting April 12th. I'm really excited to get, even just beyond the 5K limit to go out and explore my own county, at least it's something. And the weather is getting a bit nicer as well, so it would be nice just to get out and explore again. So thanks for watching, stay safe, wash your hands, look after each other, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye!